All right, so this is Brian from here from uh, quantlabs.net. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, some further uh, things you can do with MATLAB, extending a model that you've uh, got. On uh, a previous video, I've shown how to create a uh, video, or sorry, a uh, M script file called uh, do B ratio test. I'll just show that to you right now. Um, this is the basic code right here, um, which is from that example I showed you on the uh, V ratio test, which is from the econometric. I can never say this. Econet centric uh, toolbox. <laughs> All right. So what we have here under .NET assembly is the uh, MATLAB builder which I'll just show you um, right here for MATLAB, MATLAB uh, Builder NE. Um, and this is the de deployment tool that you're looking at right here. So um, essentially I have um, created a new project. Um, you can just come under here under new project. Um, and there's different types of uh, projects that you can create. Uh, obviously you can create an Excel add-in. C++ library, uh, .NET assembly, COM, Java package, so on and so forth. Um, the one we're going to focus on is the .NET assembly. Um, I have played with this uh, C++ shared library. Um, that would be more good for uh, a Linux environment. I'm sure somehow it can be manipulated into a visual C++ environment. Um, uh, but the .NET assembly, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm using Visual Studio 10, 2010, which Visual Studio um, for uh, C++ may work for the .NET assembly. I'm not sure on that, but I'm just going to focus on C Sharp. So anyways, like I said, we're, we're going to create a .NET assembly target, um, which is essentially right here uh, that I've created. Um, what you need to do is you need to create a class when you add a uh, a file so you just add a class I just call it the uh, default class one I've added the um, the file do v ratio test.m and that will uh, include it in with the uh, MCR which is the uh, MATLAB uh, code uh, runtime and um, I've set it up in a way, well, let me just show you the settings, um, where it will include uh, the um, MCR as part of the package. But as I said, as there's an option here, you can actually uh, remove it. But going back to the settings, um, we have your generic uh, SRS source uh, folder, distrib folder, all the toolboxes that are supported by this uh, uh, MATLAB Builder toolbox. So as I said, the one um, that we have here that support is the Econometrics uh, toolbox. Um, all everything else is pretty pretty standard stuff. Um, so it's a pretty mature product as compared to the MATLAB coder. Um, this function, the uh, V-Ratio test, um, would not uh, be supported under the MATLAB coder on uh, the current state of the MATLAB 2011A which I'm using uh, currently. So essentially as I said these are all the settings that you have available to you. Um, you can package it up um, and uh, actually uh, you can set it up in a way where the package could be um, a self-extracting exe or just a plain uh, zip file so that might be good for people uh, that would include the MCR uh, to for a target system that doesn't have MATLAB so that's a kind of cool thing it's royalty free as well um, okay so if you come under here uh, you do a build uh, that can take a little bit of time but um, what it will build is it'll build all these files so I'll show you a breakdown of that um, the uh, basically what you'll get is um, the uh, as I said that the source files um, your C sharp 
and you get a native version as well. Uh, you get the DLL um, for each. Uh, your just your regular assembly, and then your native, um, and a uh, README file, and so on and so forth. That's under the source, under the distrib. You get your DLLs. So uh, let's go back into or go into our uh, Visual Studio. So this is, as I said, this is the C sharp. This is a standard uh, Windows uh, console application. Um, and what I've done is I've added the references for that uh, DLL I just showed you. Um, the DLL being uh, this one, United for Assembly DLL. It's right here. Um, and uh, let me just show you that again. Uh, you can see that I've included both just in case. Um, and you just navigate to that uh, particular uh, DLL. And uh, that's all you need to do. So in your C sharp, you just uh, include your United using United for assembly. Um, and then you call your class, uh, which was defined in. Uh, here, that's your class one. So that's essentially how you are able to access the um, uh, MATLAB resources. Um, so I've instantiated this class. Um, and as I said, you get the, uh, the do V ratio test that's part of the MATLAB um, M file. So it, it works. You can actually see it, and you can make calls to it. Now, um, this is good for uh, general applications with MATLAB. Uh, the difficulty comes into place when you are trying to embed this code with the assembly coming in from the uh, MATLAB. With the MATLAB uh, MCR, um, there's, uh, from my research, there's been complaints about how slow it is. So if I was to make this call, um, through MATLAB, through the MATLAB MCR, um, it can take a few seconds. Now, that might not be good for uh, uh, a high-frequency trading environment um, where you need to get it as fast as possible. Um, I'm hoping um, I can install and get the um, package uh, or the target as I showed you before. Let me just show you what I'm referring to is uh, that I can do this uh, C++ shared library business. So um, I'm hoping that I can write or develop a, a C sharp, uh, sorry, a C++ client and be able to access that uh, DLL or that library being generated from the uh, MATLAB builder for uh, .NET uh, using that uh, C++ target. So let me just show you that again. So. Um, I haven't done this yet to see if I this will uh, be accepted by uh, Visual Studio. Um, obviously, the um, .NET assembly will. Um, the, the Excel add-in, I'm sure it will as well. Uh, this is a good, really good way of uh, uh, connecting or extending or bridging MATLAB to your uh, client uh, platforms, be it uh, uh, Excel or uh, um, dot net like C sharp um, so I, I'm gonna be obviously down the line be trying to get that C++ target working but uh, I'll let you know how that goes as I get to it um, and uh, as I said before uh, there's a Java one as well which uh, I'm not really gonna be focusing on since uh, I'm more of a dot net at this point hopefully I'll help you out